with tea quilts and I'm in my car and I'm getting ready to go visit with Rita we're going to show you Rita's studio today and last time I showed you a studio that was inside of a home that encompassed the whole basement this time I'm going to show you a home in a condo where it's in an actual bedroom so I want to show you what Rita has in store for you see you there Hi, it's T and I've made it to Rita's home and she's going to show us her studio which is located in a bedroom and then she uses the storage closet for it as well. So this is the entrance to Rita's room and I just thought her display, she has a knack for displaying. She finds very unique treasures to store her items on and so I am so excited to be able to show you Rita's room today. So this is Miss Rita, and she's going to show you her room, and I'm just going to do a quick scan. And I know we're not, you know, we're in a bedroom this time, so it's not going to show everything. But I just want to show you how her room is set up with the door to the entrance being right here. Okay, so on Rita's door, can you tell us about your door, Rita? I have two kids and three grandchildren, and I got their pictures all hung up, and I just plaster pictures all over. I got pictures of me from when I was playing ball. I've got pictures of my kids, my family, little pins I've collected. And of course I have to have those in display. Right, it's pretty unique how she combined the quilting with the family as well. So pretty cool. I found an old ball box 
at a junk shop. This here? Yes. Wow. And I just like to use things like that to make, have little cubby holes and put all my little treasures. I collect sewing things. Is that a sewing machine? That's an That's old a sewing machine that works. Is it a featherweight? Yes. Or? Okay. It's a featherweight. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't use it a lot, but I do use it every once in a while. Okay. Things that my sister have given me. On this show? Through the years, yep. We make, we love to make stuff for each other. And we've gone to quilt shops down in Atlanta where she lives. And she's made several dolls for me. These. Okay. These here were bought, but these, uh, she's made me little treasures for different, for birthday. For Aww. <laughs> All of these? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Except for that one. I okay. Made that one. She made that for me. Wow. Um, and that's your sister that's there? That's my sister. <laughs> she's 18 months younger than me, and she loves sewing. She actually is the one that got me involved in sewing. Look at this unique clock she has. <laughs> Where did you get that? Do you I remember that down in St. Charles? Wow, years ago. Pretty cool. St. Charles is one it, of our yes. historic areas. In St. Louis, they have a main street that has a lot of antique shops, unique finds. It's pretty cool. Through the years, I've been collecting scissors, so I had no idea what to do with the scissors. Oh, that's <laughs> so cool. I, am, I hung them up on one of those. Very nice. And then she even has up there. Sisters by chance and friends by choice. Pretty cool. And then my, I hang pictures throughout. No rhyme or reason, mm -hmm. but. So it's really neat how she's incorporated family into her quilting, but she still has all of her knickknacks. She collects a lot of sewing machines, and you will see a lot of those as we go around the room. And then this is your main sewing area. Let me just yes. back out so they can see that completely. She piece over here. And then she has drawers on this sewing machine desk. And what do you normally store here, Jess? I have all my threads. I'll have my extra... Her notions out there. Notions. My threads, threads, which I'm not very organized, but that's okay. But that's okay, but they just need to know but how you store in a small got area, so. Got most of my threads in okay. there. And then she also has a sit-down short arm, or do they consider they, that a long they arm? They consider it a long so arm. So it's a sit-down long arm. It's a, and it's a, also made by it's Baby It's a tiara Lock. by two by Baby Lock. So she has her area set up so she can do both. And Rita does a great job with quilting with this sit down for those of you that are interested in that. And do you have to base before you quilt? I don't. A lot of people that have the sit down say they don't and I'm so surprised. You're, I know somebody else that does it and they don't base even a like a full size quilt. They wouldn't even base. They just yeah, start in the I, middle. I don't like to do anything bigger than a lap size or mm -hmm. I do a double. But I will pin it real good and then as I uh, am quilting, I will keep stretching out the material mm -hmm. and I I haven't really had any problems. I always use the um, warm and natural and mm -hmm. it seems like to It spit. catches a lot. It, mm -hmm. ca it catches. And it doesn't move on you it once it's doesn't. there. So this is her area. I remember when we were at Quilt Retreat, it was Rita's birthday and so one of the ladies, one of her friends made this cake block and we all signed it. It was pretty fun. I don't see my name. <laughs> did I miss signing it? I see it now. Okay. It's on there. <laughs> I was going to say, did I miss signing the block? <laughs> no, you didn't. It's pretty, it though. Yeah. You know there's nobody I wrote in. They all wrote in the background as... <sighs> As uh, probably told, we follow, followed instructions. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, so lots of knickknacks, things she likes to collect is also included. So it's amazing how even though she has a small space, she didn't have to get rid of her collections and things that she likes to keep. I just put all the extra shelves up A lot up more. Myself. I know it's not focusing because of the light here, but a lot more sewing machines are these like uh toy they're toy. considered toy sewing okay. machines and i bought those at various uh antique shops okay I got some for presents from people because they know i collect oops this was an old 
sewing box of my grandmother's right actually here. oh that's pretty used cool to come in it and it's a german uh did you make the bunnies on top i made the bunnies <laughs> on top that was one of my first projects my sister and i did. very nice all these <laughs> we did those dolls my sisters made those dolls for me and of course my sister angie all of these pictures are me and her my brother my older sister camille okay she's she gets to make two <laughs> pretty quilt signs underneath and then this is her actual cutting area so i'm just going to back up so you can see that it was an old drafting table wow. i found at an antique store and i noticed it was just the right height for a cutting table okay. and then she was even still able to store pretty things along the edges where you probably wouldn't normally use your table anyway and then oh. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that Rita has a storage thing here. What is this? That's my bobbin winder. Okay, so this is a bobbin winder for her long arm. And then she has threads that she right. used down there. So you use signature thread yes. most of the time. Yes. Okay, and then just a few quilt books are stored here. Under here, she's got like a couple of crates. She didn't know I was going here. <laughs> but it's still nice and neat. It's yeah. just funny how... She organized. What is this tray here? I know they're going to ask it's me. Metal, you got such unique stuff. It's just a metal tray that I had bought. I never, I haven't, I was going to put some greenery in it uh -huh. and use it for a centerpiece okay. uh, for Christmas. Because we're nosy. We want to know. Okay. Since you are like the collector of unique things and this, <laughs> you're opening up people's eyes to different ways of storage. And I like that. You didn't go out and buy all new furniture to no. store your... Uh, stash and yeah. things and so then here's another storage area that's kind of under Some the table projects and i like little lunch boxes that's why you'll and see and i can't remember if i showed you this when she was pointing out her brother as well so i want to make sure we get her brother in there <laughs> <laughs> okay now we're over here i used to have a chatty kathy when i was younger and of course is I, that what that is yep and so my <laughs> sister bought me one years ago it was it's uh pretty cool. remake uh-huh yeah. so i Pretty i always cool. have to have her on display and then again you've got very little storage more whatnots you've got a few charm packs for display purposes and then she's got other dowels my little dowels okay so rita does a lot with wool she, she does more reproduction wool type uh, basic, style is your yeah, what you well, say basically uh um civil war civil material. war okay I, I like a lot of civil war okay uh i'm just starting to collect a little bit of wool because i am starting to really enjoy and then applique she's still incorporating more pictures here <laughs> Which is amazing. She's got a cross stitch clock My on the wall. My sister and I each made one of those. I'm talking 30 <laughs> years ago. The thing doesn't work, but we each made one. It's we went beautiful. to Mike. Um, um, no, not Michael's. What was the name of Lee Ward's? Lee Ward's. Oh my I goodness. Think. Now, what about this clock? That is not a clock. It is an old. Wow. Bobbin. We found this in an antique store. Let me zoom in on that. There is literally. You would go to the store and there's bobbins in here and needles. These, you would pick out from these wow. needles. So I do not know how old this is, but my sister found one, so I had to find one. <laughs> when I was that in is cool. Needles, shuttles. Like I said, and when you I, bought it, it had those things still yes, left in the ones you do yes, have. Yes, it still had those few. Wow, and then, talk about a unique uh, find. That, and then for your sister to find one, and so yes, it's two of them still yes, out there. Yeah, wow, yeah, but again, so these fabrics are more these not civil war are they uh, no i have then other just a uh, collection of materials okay you know so what made you put these fabrics out over other ones in your stash do you use these more or? no not really there's okay. no rhyme or reason okay. i just <laughs> <laughs> just asking just in case no rhyme okay. or reason <laughs> so if we're still going around the room this is the back door and this door, the back of the door, and it actually leads into the master, bed master bathroom. bathroom. So she's actually using the master bedroom 
for her sewing studio and then I just want to go back we're gonna go in there in a minute but I want to show you her award wall <laughs> and she's even got a sign over here that says Rita's sewing room she's incorporated more pictures she has a unique group of friends that do very they're very prolific in their Civil task and it's the Civil War group sewing circle yeah Civil, Civil War, War sewing circle and so she's got all of that incorporated it's just beautiful look like they may have taken a road trip here yeah. Went it's to Calcoon, cool. which is now closed. And another group photo there. <laughs> so <laughs> she has a unique way of incorporating, making it personalized, but yet still bringing in family. And this friends. was an old piece my sister found at a junk shop in Georgia. It is some type of an embroidery. And the ladies would wow. put it on their tables, I okay. guess. And that... And then this here would go, so I just, it's part of my decoration now. And then this is what inspires her every day. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. I used to watch the Three Stooges oh. growing up. And then the last people have gotten, gave me this really nice friend, give me these cows, because I used to work in a dairy. I did uh -huh. collect cows and okay. then little other knickknacks. Just very um, beautiful. Very neat way of showing those. Okay, now. This here also was given to me by a friend. She bought a house. This, I think, around. piece was from Ikea originally. And she bought a house and the late, the people left it. Wow. That and all that shelving there. She Even has, the piece that's underneath? Yes. Oh, my gosh. This, this all that shelving. She so said let me just do you a, give you a quick walk around to see. So she has a pretty high sit chair this chair is like a a bar stool but not yeah. quite as high and you can kind of sit uh oh and it's even got the foot rest on yeah. it it's pretty cool it was probably from ikea who knows but uh and then i know we've got some sun glare here but i just wanted to show you i love rooms that have good natural light they're just not good for videotaping when the light hits it <laughs> okay so now Rita's gonna show us where she stores her stuff that's not in use all the stash all my UFO <laughs> all my UFO. so we're actually going into the master bath and she uses the master closet and this is as far as the door will open because she has a bookshelf behind it but I want her to kind of explain what's going on here a lot so, of light. We'll just start with books and stuff. I would rather put back here because I can't really, I don't use them a lot. And so and she I even has books on the second level. More and storage. I used to do scrapbooking, so I have a lot of little tins that I bought here and there with scrapbooking stuff in. So again, she's in a small area here for storage of everything. But she's so organized with everything so, so I, that she can get to it. And then these containers are some stash or is it? Uh, stash and projects. Okay. I have like, um, in some I have wool, in some I have Fardy's material, in okay. some I have feed sacks. And, and I see some stash fabrics back here. Yes, because <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to... Do a quick scan here and then we'll step out and if she has anything she want to share these are still your works yes, in progress up here are works in progress okay I and then what are, are these scraps all scraps okay kind they look like colors. scraps to me i was gonna bring them <laughs> to flee for all oh and then you didn't make it and then you store in the drawers works in there progress as well things in there so you Projects so you really don't have a huge huge stash no as okay. far as material, no. And then do you buy small pieces when you do buy because you do mostly yes. scrappy? But now when I do go, I'm trying to buy in yards, but I don't really... You do. Yeah, I forgot. Rita does paper crafting as well because she's done some things as gifts for us at retreats. She does a beautiful job with that. So that's why and I have a lot of my... So most skins. of your quilts are out. 
yeah. on the walls for the most part. Then what do you yeah. do with seasonal quilts like Christmas? <laughs> they will go in here. So they go store in here. Okay. You can't go in my bedroom because I got on a table a big stack of quilts that I okay. don't even put out Okay, because that would be the other thing because I know you're prolific and I know you switch things out yes. seasonally and that's why I was asking. So you just lay them on a table and that's and you, your bedroom and nobody it. else has to see it. <laughs> but they probably are still knowing Rita. They're still organized. <laughs> well, along with some other clothes and this and that, but then I have a cabinet out here I've got quilts on. Okay, uh, so she stores. If you want to see that, there's... So, I, she's yeah. saying it's okay for me to show you the rest of her house because her house is just darling an old treadle here so she's got a treadle sewing machine here decorated up real pretty a chicken coop this what this is That's a chicken coop. <laughs> i'm not country at all i didn't know what it was but i just know it's cute you got it decorated where you just enjoy Little everything made in civil war i've got quilts on my table. I just want to give you a quick glance of she's just <laughs> just great with finding the perfect things to go in and make it feel country and homey and she loves reproduction so this is just all like in line with how what with she you. makes mm -hmm. projects laying all over what is this red oh, quilt that's really pretty Beverly, I love this print Beverly it was a top <clears throat> And I bought it from the guild. Okay. <clears throat> and Jan Copeland quilted it for okay. me. Okay, and she custom so, quilted it. It's yes, beautiful. It is beautiful. So that's a good keepsake reminder as well. Yep. So she and then is course, just the queen of decoration. There. Oh, so she got some quilts stacked there. Me. And then, and then just the way she puts them throughout her home, it's just beautiful. My, of course, a lot of quilts that I've made, I've given away, but a lot of quilts are stacked in my room. I have had to put my coffee table in there and, you know, stack quilts up over. And she's got a chest here. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, yeah. <laughs> my thing fell out again. So that's it for the tour of Rita's studio. We hope you enjoyed it. And I want to thank Rita for letting us come into her home. It's, uh, I came to Rita's home before for Flower Valley first Thursday. first Thursday. Yeah, I couldn't remember what we called it. <laughs> but yeah, first Thursday. And I just remembered that she had such great organization in such a small space. And so I wanted to share that with you and thank Rita for allowing us to do that. So thank you, T. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>